Okay, 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 okay. We're ready. Okay. Um, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, subscribe. We just hit 1.5K. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing y'all apps that you can download before you come to Texas A&M that will help you out. So stay tuned. Comment down below what other videos I should make. And don't forget to give the video a like. So let's get started. Um, first off, when you come to AM, and m you're going to need the main a and app, which is Texas a and m app. Just search that in App Store, or if you have a Droid, search it up on your whatever Play Store, whatever it's called. And this app is going to give you the bus routes, so you can click on bus routes. It's going to give you all the bus routes and the locations and times it comes. It can give you a COVID-19 checklist if whatever you have, coronavirus, you feel me? Or if you're here for your NSC destination Aggieland, like it shows you where to go for games, for sports and stuff. Got you with dining. So if you need anything dining, I think if you need the times or something, but there's another app for that anyway. But parking garages, if you have a car, it's going to be good for parking garages. Transportation and parking. Yeah, same thing. And that's literally just the main things of this app. So the next, the next one that you're gonna need is duo i think everybody should have that by now because to how to log into how do you're gonna need duo so everybody should have duo the next one is navigate this app a lot of people don't know about it but this app is what helped me during my first year so when you have your navigate and you already choose your classes you can go to class schedule and what i did because i'm taking these classes right now you can click this button right here actually not that button you can click add all courses to calendar and it'll add all the courses to your calendar on your phone so you can see it pop up whenever you have a class and it can alert you. So that's one good thing to do and you can see your schedule view if you want it like that. And the next thing this do does, you can schedule appointments with your counselor on here. So if you haven't want to schedule an appointment with your academic advisor, you can use this app right here. And the next thing it does, I think it tells you about your major, like the salary, as you know me by medical engineering so i'm i'm going to make a bag when i if i graduate with this major so you see you see that big bank right there them triple digits but like that's besides the point i think that's the main things of this and you can do study buddies on here if you want to study with people so um yeah you can do study buddies on here if you plan on studying with people okay and the next app okay let's get out of here the next app is rec sports if you're going to be going to the rec this app is good because you can go to the rec with this. All you have to do is know your net ID. You can log in with your net ID. And to get into the rec, all you do is just scan your barcode kind of thing. Just scan your barcode and you're good. And you can reserve stuff here, do outdoor stuff, climbing, renew lockers and get passes. So this app is another app you should download. Another app you should download, especially if you're living on campus. Even if you're not living on campus, this is a good app to use to know what times the places on campus are you can eat. Like right now is Thursday and there's no NSC happening right now. So the commons is closed, Sabisa is closed, tells you every single place that's open and closed. Every single place that's open and closed on campus. So this is a good app you should download. And it tells you special events that's happening, like if you want to or if like any specials happening. So y'all should download this app for sure. The next app you got to download is iClicker. Some of y'all might use in your classes, but you can wait till your class tells you to download it. But if you want to, you can download iClicker. Spirit, you don't need to download. I just have that there because I just downloaded many apps that I thought were going to be useful. Aggie Shuttle, you don't need it if you're, you don't need it that much. Next, um, you're going to need this app right here, Canvas. Online Canvas is good because you can check your grades on here. You can check your classes. You got any assignments all that stuff notifications like things that are due your inbox you can check messages from teachers your calendar so if you have classes you can check or anything due on those days you can check and that's literally the main thing that canvas is for just for grades and for checking so after that okay after canvas um uh, 12th man mobile you only need this app if you plan on going to like football if you're if you're a sports person if you plan on going to football basketball any sports games just get that app and that's and you're gonna need code maroon i think they make you do this i'm not sure if they make you download it still but code maroon that app right there yeah they make you download that app it gives you all the alerts and they're in the case of a hurricane tornado is good to download it gives you alerts and the last app that you might need, but you don't have to download it, 
is um, Vio, the Vio app. You, if you guys notice while walking on campus, this, um, you've probably seen those bikes that people ride that you can rent. This is the app that you use to do it. So if you don't have a bike and you're living on campus or if you want to rent one of these bikes, you're going to need to download this app so you can transfer some money in there and use the bikes for how long how, how, how long you ever need. So that's literally, uh, I think that's the main, those are the main apps that you need to download. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a quick video, a little quick, you know, a little quick five, six minute video. So don't forget to subscribe. We're at 1.5K. Let's try to hit 1.6K. Leave a like on the video and check out my other videos. Check out my other videos. It's probably going to come at the end. They're going to pop up at the end. So check out my other videos. I got lots of videos for freshmen, day in the lives, vlogs. So check them out and I'll see y'all in my next video.